All right, we've been out here doing some shooting today, and uh, I've got my Type 99 Arasaka out here, 7.7 .7 Arasaka. You can use 30 alt 6 to form the brass. You just have to trim it a pretty good bit. This particular loads, they're worked up off of uh, form 30 alt 6 brass on Accurate Arms 2700 and a 174 grain mass king. For those of you that don't know, this particular rifle was the long arm of the Japanese army during World War II. A lot of our guys in the uh, Pacific caught quite a bit of hell from this gun. There's uh, guns out there of various condition. You see a lot of them with cracked stocks, especially around the heel area of the stock, they're cracked a lot. A lot of them have the mums ground off of them. This particular version is about your average uh, shooter grade Arasaka. Sorry. The mum has been ground. It's got the uh, late war cocking piece that doesn't have the knurls on the back. It does have a uh, typical bolt that you'll find. Some of the late war versions have wooden butt plates, uh, simplified bolt handles, uh, sights that are actually milled into the base here instead of this you know, type of sighting arrangement that you would find. This particular gun is about an early war production model, so it's pretty, pretty well made. Let's shoot it and see how it groups at 100 yards. You ready? That right there was our effort out of the Arasaka at 100 yards. That's with 174 grain Sierra Match King. gun in general it's got a really nice profile to it it's lightweight easy to carry one downside is the lightweight does translate to pretty good bit of felt recoil I mean it's it's got the, got the recoil you looking at the gong yeah go ahead I think I went heavy enough on the charge. I need more powder. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have. It doesn't kick as hard as that infield. No, not at all. Rather nice. Rather nice. <laughs> 